Okay, in this video we're going to look at the solutions to two exponential congruence equations. So we have uh, 9 to the x is congruent to 10 mod 13 and we have 11 to the x is congruent to 17 mod 18. So before we get started I'll say that we're going to use the method of primitive roots and because 13 is prime we know that there is a primitive root and since 18 is twice a prime we know that that, is, that also has a primitive root. And I should say twice, uh, well not twice a prime, but twice the power of an odd prime. Okay, so in this case uh, we can use the following fact, and that is 2 is a uh, primitive root mod 13. So that means we need to write 9 as a power of 2 and we need to write 10 as a power of 2 modulo 13. So um, I'll skip the details, but you can show that uh, 2 to the power 2 to the power 10 is congruent to 10 mod 13. And also uh, 2 to the power 8 is congruent to 9 mod 13. And so you can do that just by checking all the powers of 2 until you get up to these appropriate uh, numbers. Okay, good. So that's going to turn this equation into the following. So we have 2 to the 8 to the x is congruent to 2 to the 10 mod 13. But that tells us 8x is congruent to 10 mod, but now um, since we're working in the exponent, we're not mod 13 anymore, we're mod the Euler phi function of 13, which is 12. Okay, good. So now we have 8x is congruent to 10 mod 12, but notice this has no solution, and that's because the GCD of 8 and 12 equals 4, which does not divide 10. So if you recall, in a previous video we proved that uh, if the GCD of this number and this number divides this number, that's a precise way of deciding whether or not this has a solution or not. So in this case, we don't have a solution. Okay, good. So now we're going to move on to the next one. So again, we know there's a primitive root, and I'll just say fact 5 is a primitive root. mod 18 and we can also notice the following and that is 11 is the same thing as 5 to the fifth power mod 18 and 17 is the same thing as 5 to the third power mod 18 so all those are happening mod 18 Okay, good. So now what we can do is the following. We can write this as 5 to the 5th. All to the x is congruent to 5 cubed mod 18. But now we can extract our exponents using exponent rules here. So this is obviously 5 to the 5x. So that will give us 5x is congruent to 3. But now we're not working mod 18 anymore. We're working mod the Euler phi function of 18. And you can check pretty easily that the Euler phi function of 18 is 6. So we get mod 6. Now we can check using the same uh, thing that we did over here to see that there is a solution, but there will be one. And furthermore, this one is easy to find because 5 is relatively prime to 6. So it has an inverse. And we'll use, in fact, that 5 inverse is congruent to 5 mod 6. So it is its own inverse. So we'll multiply both sides by 5. On the left hand, we'll get x, and on the right hand, we'll get 15 mod 6. But 15 mod 6 is the same thing as 3 mod 6. So here we get x is congruent to 3 mod 6, and that's our final solution.